learned a few things last year. One, got bigger buckets. These are only two gallons. I also have some three and a half and five gallons, but we're just going to start with these. Also, you should maybe pay attention to your trees while they have the leaves on them so you know which ones are maple. I've got a few other trees that I thought were maple last year that I have confirmed this year. So we're going to tap some extra trees. Of course, it's good to have a nice big evaporator depending on how much you're doing. February 9th, 2024. There's no snow. But that means we've got sap. Due to my pesky work schedule, I haven't been out here in three days. So most of these buckets appear to be pretty full. This one's so full, it's coming right out the top. It's been warm the last couple days. I haven't been out here to check on my buckets. Yeah, she's flowing pretty good now, boys and girls. We've got rolling boils in the back, warming pan in the front. Two barrels going here. So we've got our near up. Uh, it was boiling at 212 degrees or so. What we got is a giant cup filter and a strainer, which then drips down into a cone filter in the holder. Uh, we actually have a silicone spatula that's holding up the middle of the cone. Instead of having one single point that that will drip down to and slowly filter through, this will increase the surface area of uh, the very bottom part of the filter. We'll filter like this, and then We'll go ahead and boil the rest down and filter again before bottling. So the coffee filter worked pretty well. Um, I had just layered these up and then as one got clogged, I would remove it and use the one underneath. As you can see, this is our top coffee filter. Um, it's brown, it's got lots of stuff in it. Look at the one underneath it. It's pretty clean, pretty clean. And then, we look at this filter, um, very clean. These can be washed as well. The coffee filters are cheap. I will just throw those away. So the first batch I did this year had a lot of nitre in it. Um, we have two pots that are near syrup, or near up if you will, going right now. Let me show you my filtering process that I'm going to try this year. I've got this awesome stainless steel uh, pot with a spigot on it. And it's got a ball valve right here. Added a uh, couple pieces of pipe to get that out and away from the stove. We're going to put these coffee filters in the strainer. Um, that's something that I didn't do earlier this year. It might take longer. We'll see. Uh, going through multiple filters. When I did a cold filter, uh, before I threw these on the stove, everything collected in this coffee filter and nothing went really into the bottom filter. So it might be safe just to do coffee filters, but we're going to super filter it uh, as long as I have the patience. We'll see how long that takes.
So here's my verdict on this setup. Um, I had too many coffee filters originally to get through, so I did remove a couple of those. Uh, I just have a couple in there now, down to two. Let me lift that up carefully. That is going into our cone filter, and the cone filter is actually dripping from uh, about four different places in there instead of just one so I do feel like that's going at a faster rate than leaving it in the cone shape although maybe we'll work on a vacuum filter alright we got filtered uh, back into our pot and it's at 185 degrees put the lid on it And we're going to hot pack these to our jars. Put the lid on, flip it upside down, we'll leave it like that for about 10 minutes and then we'll flip it right side back up. This will put the temperature on these um, parts that haven't been exposed to the hot syrup yet and that helps to kill the bacteria. So what I learned from filtering the syrup this year, you don't have to filter unless you want to. If you're going to give this as a gift to people, they probably don't want the sediment at the bottom. This is my first batch. It does have some sugar sand in the bottom, or nitre. Um, it doesn't hurt you at all, but it didn't turn out like I was hoping. I didn't filter that till the very end, and I filtered, filtered it while it was hot, um, but I only filtered it once. so. I tried to push all of that thick syrup at that point through these filters that I had. So what you should do instead is make it look like this. You can filter it um, when you get it close to syrup or when you're putting it into the pot for the final boil, filter it. And that takes out a lot. And then when you do filter for the final time, you get it up to temperature, you're happy with your syrup, filter a little bit at a time, pass it through pre-filters, remove the pre-filters as they get clogged, and let the rest drain through the next pre-filter into your final filter. When that gets clogged, remove that one, and just repeat the process. It doesn't benefit you at all to put a lot of your syrup into your filter. You want to keep it as hot as possible, and just drain a little bit at a time. Ah. Ooh, that was a hot baby. I didn't learn that much last year. It's a lot of fun though.